Hey everyone, welcome back to Bite Sized. This is homemade refried beans made from scratch. It's a huge staple in my bariatric journey. It's low calorie, good on protein, and it's just a handy recipe to know. You'll love all the flavors in this very easy to make recipe. It stores really well, which makes it perfect for meal prepping. This is a phase 3 soft food stage recipe that can easily be converted to a phase 2 puree recipe. Stick around to the end to see how that's accomplished. Later on after you're healed up, this makes a killer burrito filler or a good hearty dip. It's a very versatile recipe and I just can't wait to share it with you. If that sounds good, let's get cooking. This is Bite Sized, foods for your bite sized stomach. Here's all the ingredients we're using today. In a hot pan, start by sauteing some onions and some olive oil. Olive oil is just a personal preference of mine. You don't have to use it. You can easily swap it out for some grapeseed oil or even Pam. Uh, next, we're adding some garlic. Oh, here's a quick tip. I love pressing my raw ingredients in a food chopper just because it makes everything consistent so everything cooks evenly, which I really think helps enrich the flavor. Here at Bite Size, we really want to try to make every single bite count. Cook these for about 8 minutes, you'll want everything nice and brown. Next we're adding an entire can of pinto beans, with the fluid included. This is going to simmer all together, eventually cooking off that excess liquid. Now that everything's cooking together and softening up, let's get mashing. And try to mash everything as best as you can, but if a couple beans don't get fully mashed, it's not going to be the end of the world. Next I'm adding some Mexican cheese. I'm going to stir that in, and then I'm going to follow that up with some freeze-dried cilantro. If you prefer using fresh cilantro, please by all means. It's only going to make this recipe, well, more fresh. But the freeze-dried stuff is a great convenience. I keep a container of the stuff in my fridge at all times just because it has a good shelf life. Pulled everything together and I'm going to serve this in a nice bowl. Topping this off with a little bit of sour cream. I'm 10 years post-op so I enjoy this with a nice toasty wrap. Sometimes I'll chop the wrap up, make some chips, and use this as a dip. This creates two servings, so that's lunch for two days, which is super convenient. Oh, speaking of convenient, if you're on the puree stage and you wanted to enjoy this on phase two, you would just need to add this to a food processor with a cup of chicken broth and blend together until nice and silky smooth. A fourth of a cup is a serving at stage two, so this would make four whole servings. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of servings. That's almost a week's worth of lunches, and that was easy. For this recipe, along with the grocery list, nutritional facts, and the cooking instructions, wow, check out my website, bitesizemeals.com. For Bite Size, this is Bite Sized, wishing you a happy bariatric journey. We'll catch you next time.